welcome back to NRM 638, Spring Semester 2015. This is e-learning class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In this video session, we're going to be working with inputting and outputting text files in Python. So if you go to the Blackboard website in NRM 638, go to Python scripts, and then week one Python basics, and then download this text file, Python input output files.txt. So right mouse click, save link as, or save target as. Okay, so start the Python shell, and we'll copy and paste from our text file into our Python shell. So the first thing we'll do is import the OS module, and then we'll create a new subdirectory. So this subdirectory we'll create will be NRM638 test files. And then we'll change our current working directory to go into that new test files folder. And then we'll say, is there anything in that current working directory? This is our current working directory, and right now there's no files in that current working directory. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an output text file, and we'll name it test.txt. And this is simply the open command, the name of our text file, enclosed in quotes, and then a flag for access, what kind of permission. So in this case, we want write permission so we can write to this text file. So that created an object called outfile, and that object will have functions that we can use with it. So one of the functions will be write, and that writes a string to the text file. Another would be write lines, and that would write a sequence of strings. So in other words, a list of strings to our text file. And then when we're done writing to our text file, we're going to use the dot close function. And that closes our text file. So then basically others have permission to access the text file once it's closed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll make a string called new line. So now what's inside this string variable? So that's what's inside the string variable. And you'll notice at the end we have a backslash n, which will basically be a new line character in the first line of our text file. So then we'll output that to our text file. So it's simply the name of our file object and then dot write and then the name of our string variable. So that created the first line in our text file. Then we'll go through a loop where i is going to vary from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then we'll create a string variable new line. It's going to be equal to line plus whatever i is converted to a string plus the new line character, so backslash n. And we'll print that to our screen so we can see what's being written to our text file in this state. So we'll copy this loop and then we'll paste it in our Python window. So control V and then enter to send that to the Python interpreter. So basically this is what is output to our text file. And then we simply close our text file. So close our file object and then we could always use the closed function to test is it really closed. So the dot closed function will return either a true or a false depending upon whether it's closed or it's not closed. So in this case the file is indeed closed so we can access it. So if we go to Windows Explorer, go inside our test file folder and there it is. So we could look at it in Notepad so that's basically what our Python script output to this text.txt. Okay, we can also read from text files. So we'll create a file object. In this case, we'll call it infile. You can call it whatever you want. But simply the open command one more time. This time we're going to give it read access. So in other words, we're not going to be able to delete anything in the file, we're not going to be able to write to the file, we're only going to be able to read to, from that file called test.txt in our current working directory. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll do a loop, so for every line in this object, print it. 
So it prints every line in that file. So basically line is a string variable. So we could say, well, what's in that string variable right now? And that's what's in that string variable right now. So line 10 and then the new line character. And then when we're done reading from a text file, we would close it. So take our file object and then dot close to close it. And then we could ask, is it really closed? And it is really closed. Okay, so that's the end of our video sessions for this week. So if you go to the Blackboard website, there's the scripting assignment available for you at the website. So if you go to the NRM638 and go to scripting assignment link, and then week one scripting assignment, your first scripting assignment is due by 5 p.m. Tuesday, January 27th. And there's some files that you would download and then scriptingassignment.pdf describes the assignment for you. So if you click on this, it's a PDF you could either download or you can look at it in Blackboard. So basically that's your first scripting assignment for our week one video sessions. And if you have any questions, email me at dlverbilla at alaska.edu.